Spain, where the anti-austerity Podemos movement has been making political gains, while the main parties have seen their power eroded. And to tell us more about that, we're joined now by our Madrid correspondent, Sarah Morris. Sarah, hello, thank you for being with us. Uh, how do Spanish citizens and politicians view this referendum in Greece? Well, we saw a poll out today in El País newspaper in which a majority of Spaniards uh, felt that they uh, would, were against the Greeks' uh, no call. Uh, they actually felt that the Greek government um, uh, asking for a no uh, vote w was wrong. Most of the Spaniards seem to be in favour of the deal that is being offered by the Troika. Uh, but when you look at voters for Podemos, who expect to vote for Podemos, there's a very, very different picture. About two-thirds of those intended voters actually back uh, the yes, uh, the, the no vote, and they think that that could deliver a return of, to democracy. We've seen that uh, small protests in favour of the no vote, in favour of the Greek government, uh, feeling really that the Troika deal is cruel, that it makes the poorest uh, in uh, Greece actually pay for the cost of the bailout. And of course, um, a lot of people here feel that austerity is something uh, which has gone too far in Europe. And do Spanish voters sympathise with the Greek sense of injured pride? They certainly do, and we've seen that in the rise of Podemos. Podemos, of course, uh, backed um, Cyprus, backed, um, actually went on the campaign trail earlier this year and talked about the winds of change sweeping through Europe. Many people here in Spain uh, do feel that there has been too much austerity, uh, but of course a lot of Spaniards are also worried about what will happen if Greece is actually forced out of the euro. And in the poll today, we saw about two-thirds of Spaniards uh, saying that they're worried uh, that that could have an effect on the euro and, of course, on uh, Spain. We, we remember the rocky period in the eurozone crisis when, of course, Spain paid very high uh, rates for debt on the markets. Now, the Spanish prime minister has been telling the Spanish people uh, that wouldn't happen even if Greece did leave the euro. But quite a lot of nerves here. Sarah Morris reporting there from Madrid. Thank you very much for that.